Hello and welcome to the Comlex Instant Review. Please visit www.comlexflashcards.com for additional resources including the full version of this lecture and subscribe to our blog. That's comlexflashcards.com. Today's topic is otitis media. So how do you go about diagnosing children with otitis media? Well first you look at the age. Is the child less than six months of age? Is the child between 6 to 24 months of age or are there severe infections such as sepsis or an immunocompromised status? If there's no as your answer to these, then you know the treatment option is mainly topical or systemic analgesics with close observation. And if there's systemic resolution, you just want to make sure you do a follow-up. If there's persistent symptoms, you either way or if they have these criteria that are met, you want to prescribe amoxicillin, macro, a macrolide for children with type 1 penicillin allergy, cephalosporin for children with non-type 1 allergy, and consider ceftriaxone or amoxicillin with clavunate for children with severe otalgia. If there's persistent symptoms still, then you want to go with amoxicillin and clavunic acid. And again, if that doesn't work, you can try um, cefetine, all right? And if the symptoms are still persistent, then clindamycin or tympanocentesis or um, getting an imaging study may be recommended in addition to tympanostomy for recurrent otitis media, um, hearing loss, tinnitus, or other neurological conditions. So also another um, high yield question you may see on the boards is the difference between um, the Eticoantral or the unsafe type and the tubotympanic or the safe type of chronic superlative otitis media. Just remember one so that the other one um, you can eliminate on the boards. See, the tubotympanic or the safe type will have profuse mucoid odorless discharge. Keep in mind the perforation is central and you won't see typically granulomas. What you will see though is, um, you know, these polyps that are pale, whereas in the unsafe type they're usually red and flash fleshy. Also the big difference for the boards is the presence of cholesteomas on the unsafe adequantral type of chronic supportive otitis media. So remember either the tubotympanic or the adequantral type and you'll be good in scoring additional points on the board exam. For this complete lecture go to comlexflashcards.com today and subscribe to our blog and good luck in your preparation for the boards and in medical school.